Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density. I wanna show you what I'm eating today on the potato reset. I have done nearly like a week and a half of potato reset so far and I'm not bored of potatoes yet. I think I could probably go for like months i feel like i just there's no end to the potatoes um it's really helping me uh, get into the habit of eating more potatoes so hopefully even when i finish this i'll still be on the potato train so i haven't eaten anything yet romy's just been asleep on me for the last like two hours or something nearly 11 o'clock but i am getting hungry i did do loads of prep this morning while i was making um the kids breakfast and stuff so yay me so i'll show you what i have got so if you don't know i am eating off my own seven day potato reset meal plan which you can find a link down below all of the recipes should be in there but something that wasn't on my meal plan which is why i really fancied is some extra purple cabbage so i'm just i cooked that up with some soy sauce and garlic so i'm gonna have that and this morning i'm having some sweet potato toast so um i'm just getting my toast ready i'm just about to whip up a little salsa and i'm going to be doing a lovely cucumber sushi inspired salad so that should all be very delicious um So that is breakfast this morning. Then I've already got lunch made actually because it's basically leftovers from dinner that I didn't eat. It's my lovely Hasselback potatoes. I'm so excited to dig into this because the garlicky infused flavors are going to be incredible. And I was meant to have that with a lovely um, tomato soup that I made yesterday, but my whole family loved it so much and they ate it all, which is fantastic. Um, but what I thought I would do is I have never made a courgette soup. Um, and I thought that could be really fun and just like really creamy. So I've got three courgettes here and I'm going to whip them up and do like a lovely soup to have with my Hasselback potatoes for lunch and maybe some broccoli on the side. So those are my general thoughts. I'll let you know when I've actually got my breakfast together because I am starving. Okay, breakfast is done. And oh my gosh, it looks so vibrant and exciting. This is going to be such a tasty meal. I mean, it's just vegetables and sweet potato and it looks like... Pfft, a piece of art in my mind anyway so let me just see if i can give you oh god that's a bit too bright um so basically we've got all of the sweet potato toast going on there we've got tomatoes we've got lime we've got coriander i've done cucumber salad and some red cabbage what a gigantic delicious feast um when you eat this way you can literally eat so much food it just blows my mind and also when you kind of get yourself off of all the junk food and you focus on the whole foods this is actually going to be so 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 delicious so maximum flavor and fantastic for weight loss and your health as well uh, getting in loads of water and loads of fiber obviously mm. anyway i'm gonna go dig into this but i also forgot to mention I also forgot to mention that I had also prepped myself some courgettes because I wanted to have crispy courgettes this morning as well. I literally just can't get enough of the veggies. When you get on the veggie train, you get addicted. So anyway, I've got two gigantic courgettes in the air fryer just crisping up and I might just have that as a little post-breakfast snacky or something. But anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy this because... Mm, look at this. Mmm. Mm. I love using sweet potatoes in a savoury way sometimes. I often forget to do that, but actually, that's so, so, so yummy. Mm. Right, I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, I finished my breakfast and part one, and this is part two. Just two massive crispy courgettes. They were like gigantic ones. And just, oh, I, like, I, just, I love them so much. They are just so, so delicious. Mm. And they taste like, I don't even know what they taste like. But they're incredible. So anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy this. And um, Romy did share a little bit of my breakfast. Mm. And she's probably going to have some of this too. And then, I was thinking I might just take Romy out for a lovely walk in the forest. Because we didn't get to do that properly yesterday because she fell asleep on me. So, I need a nice walk in the forest to, get, to let her be free and just explore. Okay, Romy has decided that we are going to go outside and play in the garden instead. And actually... Our garden is a total mess. 
it's literally just like destroyed from the winter. I don't think we've been out there since basically last summer almost. So it just looks mental. So Romy and I might have a go at tidying it up a little bit. We need to sort out this whole area because it's been so windy. Um, and yeah, so anyway, wish me luck. And we've got loads of stones out there. So I hope Romy doesn't eat any of them. Um, but after this, we might have a little bit of fun doing a workout together like we did yesterday on the TV. Just a little YouTube, like a quick 20 minute or something. Um, but Romy and I have just been on the rebounder um, and we've just done like, not very long, maybe like five minutes. Um, but I did like some deep, deep squatty bits while she was doing some bouncing. So actually that was fantastic. Anyway, let's go in the garden, Roms. We are just having the best time in the garden ever. And I just wanted to share with you guys that it is actually sunny and I'm not wearing a jacket and I'm not cold. I'm standing here in the sunshine, just like, oh my gosh, just so appreciating this sunshine that I don't think I've had properly for like six months. And I thought Ronnie was gonna be way too young to be in this garden because sometimes she does still put stuff in her mouth and we have just stones everywhere. But she's realized she can organize the stones and she's scooping them and she's just having the best time ever. We were going to um, like put grass on this upper part of the garden up here, but actually I feel like maybe she'll love the stones so much, maybe we don't need to do that and it'll just be a great activity for her to do all summer long. So anyway, I just wanted to share that I'm so happy to be in this garden. <laughs> this is just like the best day ever. I am a summer baby. When the sun is out, I'm at my happiest. And so the last six months have been rough because it's just been so cold and miserable, as England always is. But I'm so excited because we're coming into the summer months now, which means I can be outside all day long, which is what I want to do. Um, I want to take my babies out every single day and just go out and be, be free and just explore um, like the forest and just loads of other good stuff. Anyway, we're having a good time. Still enjoying the lovely garden. It's about half 12 and I've just got myself a lovely little cup of tea. And I was just thinking about something. I was thinking about the fact that um, if I, we were inside right now, I'd be going in to make lunch, um, to kind of get myself, you know, in the zone for some more food. I'm not like, I'm not hungry, but I'm also not not hungry. I'm in that middle kind of area. So I would have naturally gone to get myself some food, but because we're playing in the garden, I feel like my, well, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, basically, my mind's preoccupied. My mind is somewhere else and I'm having a lovely time in the garden. Therefore, I'm only going to go and get food when I'm actually hungry, when I'm like properly hungry. Um, and also, you know, in another way, being outside and being in the sun for me um, feels like, fills an emotional part of me, which I really love. Um, and that is so important. Um, and I feel like in the winter, a lot of the time, Maybe that is, um, maybe I kind of look to food to kind of fill that aspect. So I think most people do tend to eat more in the winter times anyway, because it's cold and stuff like that. But I think not being outside does really impact me and it makes me think about food more often. But when I'm outside, out and about, I really am able to focus on only eating when I'm hungry. Anyway, I just thought it was an interesting observation. Um, sometimes it can just be a matter of doing something different or changing your environment which will then change your habits so anyway Romy and I are just having a fab time okay we've just come inside because I am getting hungry now and we're going to make some lovely lunch so like I said before we're going to make some courgette soup so I'm thinking loads of courgettes I think I might pull out another couple of courgettes as well I'm going to throw some sad celery in there as well just because I've got some extra and we're going to have that alongside these delicious Hasselback potatoes which just need a little bit of life bringing back into them again so I'll show you when I've got that already Come here. <clears throat> Hello guys. So I know I have not done a grocery haul in a really long time because it's been a bit mental with the potato reset and everything. Um, and also I think last week James put it away without me realizing. Anyway, I've got a very small grocery haul. I just want to give you a quick little peek into what I have purchased this week. Obviously I did do a shop over the weekend for the potato reset starting Monday. So I've already got a lot of stuff then and I'm sorry I didn't show you, but this is a little one. Okay, so first and foremost, that is all my potato stash right there. So I was in desperate need of some potatoes. Sorry, Romy's a little squeaky in the background. So I've got three big bags of potatoes right here. Um, I think I'm probably gonna need to pick up some more because I'm doing this till Sunday, but let's just see how it goes. I've got two cucumbers. I've got a full bunch of celery, some 
little um what on earth these are onions <laughs> sorry my brain went dead um got some little onions for making loads of soups and curries and stuff i've got two bags of kale uh just for the crack uh to throw in things and throw in my morning veggies a mountain an absolutely incredible mountain of broccoli because I, obviously you guys know I love broccoli so much and I love to start my day with broccolis or some kind of veggies and the most ridiculous amount of courgettes as well. Um, James thought I was kidding when I said to put this much in the basket, but I'm loving the courgettes. The crispy courgettes, it's great for making things creamy and I just really, really love them. I didn't get loads of sweet potatoes. I thought I'd ordered more, but I hadn't ordered more, so I'm definitely going to have to go and pick some up from the shops because um, that's going to be gone, like, tomorrow. Um, and then finally, just for the kids, I've got some bananas because their little fruity stash is running a little bit low over there. So anyway, that is everything I got. So as you guys probably know, I got that from Riverford, which is an online organic place that you can order in the UK. Um, obviously, it is a bit more expensive than if you just went conventional purchasing. I think this was about £60 uh, worth of stuff. But obviously, like I said, if you went to Morrison's or something, you can get it much cheaper. Anyway, that's my stuff. Let me go make my soup. Okay, so I've got my lovely courgette soup here. It's so, so green and so, so creamy and delicious. I did put a couple of potatoes in there as well. And then where are my, oh yes. And then here are my little Hasselback potatoes. And I'm very excited to dig into some of those. I think I might eat two or three, I'm not quite sure. I'll let you know. Uh, but see how they're like stuffed with garlic. Oh my gosh. Mm, anyway, it's gonna be yummy. So first soup, then potatoes, perfect combination. Uh, in the meantime, Romy has had loads of nuts and dates as a little pre-lunch snack and she's just got some soup with some rice in it as well. So that is what Romy's having today. Okay, I just wanted to hop on and say these Hasselback potatoes are so, so delicious and they've got the roasted garlic like squeezed in between and that just packs so much flavour and they are incredible for soup dunking. Mmm! So good, so good. Also, I want to take a moment to say, my tummy does this when I'm sitting down. And uh, that's okay. So I am just in my local forest going for a lovely walk and I have just finished my carrot. I nearly forgot to leave the house without it. I was like, oh my gosh, my carrot. So I went back in and, and got my carrot, <laughs> but I forgot to show you anyway, it was very yummy. Um, but I am just so enjoying the fact that the weather is actually nice and it just makes me want to be outside. I feel like I've really neglected a lot of movements. I've barely gotten any steps in the last few months while it's been winter time. And I know that the summertime makes me want to be out. So that's so exciting because, you know, it's really great to get gentle movement in or any kind of movement in um, for health and just for general weight loss and stuff like that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just appreciating getting that in. So I might try and do like a steps challenge or something. Um, as the summer gets nicer, let me know if you guys want to get involved in something like that. Could be quite fun. It's always good to get some steps in. But anyway, I'm just enjoying myself out in the forest. So I've been walking for about an hour and a half and I've just loved it so much. I've actually done two loops of my regular forest because Romy was still fast asleep and I thought there's no point in going home. I was a little bit chilly because I didn't bring my jacket. I thought there's no point in going home because I'm just going to sit and not do not get any movement in while I'm doing my work or I could keep walking whilst I'm working and actually I'm so glad I did because I I feel like I could actually keep going um, for like another good hour or so. I love being outside and I love walking so much. But anyway, it's time to go and pick up Abe so I'm just going to go and grab him from school. So Abe was snacky and I've just made him a few little crisps. This is just from my meal plan, just the microwave crisps. They are so easy to make and they have got the most fantastic proper crunch. Have you had a taste yet? What do you think? <laughs> Is it nice? So I had a brainwave and I was like, you can do that with a potato. And I've got some courgettes sitting in front of me there. And I thought, can you do it with a courgette? So I'm about to find out. Okay, so my courgette crisps have worked out so nicely. They've gone a really cool color, obviously, just in the, in the microwave. But what I wanted to show you is... Oh, you're right, Rob. Oh! Jesus, scared me. How did you pop it? Okay, <laughs> I want to show you the crunch. Mm. 
don't know if you can hear that crunch behind all the squeeching, but I'll feed you, don't worry. But anyway, I'm going to try this out with loads of different veggies because what a fantastic little crispy snack. Hello, hello. So it's half five, a little bit later than I would usually like to make dinner. But James got back a little bit later and we were busy watching The Elephant Whisperer, which was so, so, so good on Netflix. My kids absolutely loved it. And it was just, yeah, it's really, really cute. Anyway, I want to show you what I have got on the go at the moment because, oh, yes, steamed. So this is what I've got on the go at the moment. This is my potato and well, it's meant to be like Swiss chard, but I haven't got that. So I've just got like some spring greens or something. This is a lovely curry and it's just gonna be, oh, it's so, I've already had a taste and it's darn, darn delicious. And pairing with that, I'm just cooking up some cauliflower on the side as well. So that is gonna be dinner tonight. And then if I fancy something afterwards, I might treat myself to a little sweet potato, um, just like mashed with cinnamon, because I'm really in the mood for something a little bit sweety as well. But first I'm gonna enjoy this lovely curry. Okay, so the cauliflower is taking way too long to cook. So what I decided to do is I just blitzed it up in the food processor and now I've got cauliflower rice and I stuck some uh, cubes of frozen garlic in there, a little pinch of salt, and I'm gonna finish it off with some lemon. I think that'll make it very yummy. It is so lovely outside today, so I just wanted to come out here and just show you my dinner. Um, so this is my lovely curry and my cauliflower rice. Um, garlic and a squeeze of lemon and some coriander on the top. Fantastic. I can't believe this is potato reset friendly. It kind of blows my mind that I can have a massive curry like this. Um, but I'm very excited to dig in. Super low calorie density, satisfying from the potatoes. I'm going to go and enjoy this. Mmm. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Something with just such a different burst of flavor really hits the spot sometimes. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen with a very tired Romy, but I really fancied something else to eat and I fancied something sweet and cookie-ish. Thank you, baby. So I'll tell you what I've just whipped up. We're gonna see if it works, because I don't know. I mashed some sweet potato. I then put in some potato flakes, i.e. instant mashed potato, with some cocoa powder and a bit of vanilla. Mush that up. The consistency in and of itself was very nice. I made it into cookies and I've stuck it in the oven. I'm about to wait 10 to 15 minutes and see if I have created something incredible or mediocre. I can't tell yet, I'm not quite sure, but I'll let you guys know. So I found myself a little bit snacky this evening. So I'm just nibbling on the leftover of my cauliflower rice while I'm waiting for my cookies in the oven. Hello guys. So <clears throat> I'm just sitting down to do some work and I am still hungry. I don't know what's going on today. <clears throat> I think it's because I've been prioritizing getting lots of movement the last couple of days, but <clears throat> oh yeah, I hate those cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't show you. Um, I was just chatting to James and totally forgot about it and I just munched on them. Um, they were very nice. I need to tweak them a little bit. So I'll see if I can do a proper recipe tomorrow. But I think they were quite good for a potato reset cookie. So anyway, I will show you that soon. Um, but I'm going to go in with two sweet potatoes and a little cinnamon. And I've got a bedtime tea just brewing, waiting for me. Anyway, I am going to go and do some work and, um, and munch on. So it's nearly 11 o'clock, but I've just finished my work and I'm going to get on my trampoline and do 10 quick minutes. Even though I'm in my jammies already, I'm going to go quickly get into my leg. 